I'd been living in London for about seven years and always felt intensely South African. I always wanted to return home. And the moment that triggered it for me was when we were, all of us freezing cold South Africans, um, came to listen to Madiba speak at the um, embassy in London. And there he stood over this whole crowd of us freezing cold South Africans and he said, I love you all so much, I want to put you in my pocket and take you home. And the crowd just looked around and went mad and I looked around going, well, what on earth are we doing here? In 2003, Johannesburg advertising agency Morris Jones created the Homecoming Revolution brand, inviting students from the Funda Fine Arts Center and the Vega School to participate. I came home and saw all the opportunities and everything that was possible, and the idea of being able to say to people, you're not a failure if you return home. You're a, you're a pioneer, you're an entrepreneur, you're a revolutionary. Homecoming Revolution had a press launch with a mailer to 20,000 South Africans worldwide with Marina Smithers PR, in collaboration with the book launch of South Africa Reasons to Believe. We decided let's use our messaging skills to actually start telling the stories of people who've returned home. I lived in the United States for about seven years. I was living in the UK for eight years. I spent five years in Australia. I lived in Japan for two and a half years. Bon and I left for England about nine years ago. In the US for about 12 years. Luxembourg for four years. Two years in London. Canada, Switzerland, the UK, specifically Wales and England. The opportunity for us to be able to tell homecoming stories of inspiring journeys that people had access to and then could add their own really allowed the whole organization just to take flight. One day I was driving along and uh, I was bored out of my skull and I suddenly did a U-turn on the street, went home and said to my wife, we're going back. I wanted to be more involved in South Africa becoming the country that we all wanted to be. Fishing, seeing the bush, Friends popping around ad hoc for, for an evening, you know, sundowner, um, you know, the ad hoc bribe. Sometimes you just need pup and some green veggies and beef stew. Driving through the Karoo, the African way of being greeted when, when the arm crosses and, and there's a sign of respect. And I feel like I had to go away from Africa to actually realize how much Africa is a part of my heart. It was evident that the organization needed sponsorship and a full-time staff component. And it was Mr. Paul Harris himself who believed in the campaign. I knew that I'd be able to convince people that this was a good thing. That allowed us um, the budget to employ the amazing Martine Schaffer. I was a returnee. I had read about the homecoming revolution just before I left London to come back to South Africa. And it became even more than a dream job for me. It was just absolutely a highlight of my career. Francois Pinard joined the organization as a brand ambassador and the gala event was celebrated with the likes of the iconic Yvonne Chaka Chaka and the late David Rattray. We had inquiries from people all over the world, from journalists all over the world, and we noticed very quickly too how passionate people feel about the country. They love it and they hate it. A negative people are the worst part of working around something like the homecoming revolution. The pessimists, the racists, the mourners, they can stay where they are, thank you very much. We are either insanely depressed or you be euphorically high. If you think of what we've been through and what we, where we are now, it's not perfect, of course it's not perfect. If it's not the electricity, then it's the politics. If it's not the crime, then it's the potholes. There will always be problems. But wow, compared to any other time in, in my lifetime, this is about the best future that we've had. Later that year, we did our first London event. When we were trying to create events internationally, we had no idea if they would work or wouldn't work. And so started the first of many successful events around the world, where South African expats could gather together to hear about home. I oh, mixed emotions before I came, but after hearing the presentation, I think, uh, I think it's very positive. London became a key destination for major expos, with over 50 blue-chip South African companies and organizations showcasing jobs, careers, property, investments, and entrepreneurial opportunities. We've definitely pulled the crowd. The advertising has been, um, has been a thumbs up for the homecoming revolution. Also, it's got the right skills. We're speaking to the people with the relevant experience to us. 
96% of the exhibitors agreed it was an effective way to find new talent and new customers. Most of our questions have been answered. Yes, I'd agree it's with It's been very that. helpful. Yeah. We had been thinking about going back home, so this has been like kind of a confirmation. The homecoming revolution has hosted over 30 international events from Dubai to Washington, from Sydney to the Netherlands, from Dublin to Chicago, and had face-to-face -face engagement with over 15,000 South Africans abroad. Local networking events were extremely important too to keep encouraging returnees to spread the message. High-profile individuals were also a key ingredient for garnering attention, and when Rake Nietling returned to South Africa, he became a homecoming revolution brand ambassador. We need young, energetic, skilled South Africans. Other famous speakers included Cheryl Corollas, Danny Jordan, Professor Barney Pichana, Trevor Noah, Gwede Mandashe, Nick Benedel, Helen Ziller, Rolf Meyer, Sonia Sibota, Cheryl Delore, Benjamin Zander, and Aaron Mugwena. And returning people who say, oh, I don't know if I should come home, there are no jobs. We say, well, don't say there are no jobs, come home and create the jobs. They've got their international expertise and their global relationships. I think I also got a sense of a, of a work ethic. So we're actually seeing more and more businesses which do have a strong, strong social element built into the very DNA of their businesses. Ultimately, I look to, to mentor as many people starting their own businesses. We do outreach programs. It's the biggest outreach program in South Africa. Early childhood development, early childhood education is some, an area that we have ignored. Hopefully create the next Springbok uh, out of that, the next project cricket player, etc. Increasing access to quality healthcare for people not only in South Africa but in Africa more broadly. For every one skilled person that returns, nine new jobs are created. Important collaborations have included many South African embassies SA The Good News, the IMC, the Development Bank of SA, the Hillary Clinton Diaspora Foundation, and the World Bank. Homecoming Revolution co launched a website to help South Africans vote from abroad plus created the Community Police Forum Partnership Project. South Africans all over the world receive bi-monthly newsletters on relevant developments and opportunities, and the website offers a personalized service and expert advice that includes making the move, settling in, finding schools, financial and legal matters, and getting connected. It formed a very important part of my reintegration into South Africa. And the Homecoming Revolution brings that all together um, you know, for people who are going through this, by people who've already gone through that. And that, that provided confidence and it definitely got me off the ground. Since its inception, the Homecoming Revolution brand has enjoyed global media coverage and been the opinion leader on skills repatriation in South Africa. Like Angel Jones and Marina Smithers of the Homecoming Revolution, we know very well that today our country and continent provide the best and most promising locations for the solution of many of the problems that trouble the whole of humanity. Homecoming Revolution has had over one million unique visitors to its website. And best of all, South Africa's brain drain retention ranking has dramatically improved in the Global Competitiveness Report. When people often ask me, you know, what's the most important thing you learned at Harvard? And I tell them, I learned how much I love Africa. Young people should have wings, but they also should have roots. It's very exciting to start planning the rest of my life. My kids will grow up with their cousins and, and with their grandparents. On returning to South Africa, you, you return to open arms. Abroad, we can make new friends, but we can't make old friends. To know that we had a role in their return is something that um, resonates very deeply with me. Swimming lessons, yeah, playing outside, jumping on your trampoline, taking your dog for a walk, riding your bicycle in the road, yeah, having lazy afternoons.